I hear people talking bad about the way we have to live here in this country. Harping on wars we fight and griping about the way things ought to be. And I don't mind them switching sides and standing up for things they believe in. When they're running down my country, man, they're walking on the fighting side of me. Yeah, walking on the fighting side of me. Running down the life I'm fighting. Jason here with Forever Free Gunner, bringing you a video here about the new offering from Springfield Armory. This is a Springfield Armory Hellcat. Um, super excited about this. Um, I had the uh, XDS 45. Um, I have had the Smith and Wesson um, Shield in 40, and now. Um, I have transitioned to 9mm in just about every one of my carrying guns. So, um, and I know there's guys that are going to talk shit or crap, excuse my language. But um, that's just my opinion. Um, with bullet technology, powder technologies, um, the invention of um, the new um, external hollow points, they call them, or fluted rounds. Um, that are just getting awesome penetration, um, don't clog, are barrier blind. So moving forward, I just, 9mm is uh, what I'm going to carry. And um, this is going to be one of my new backup guns. So pocket gun, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here, guys. Um, so this is how it comes to you guys. Kind of this cool matte black. Um, finish here and it comes with a 11 round flush fit mag but it still has the kind of the pinky hook here you guys pink little pinky hook there and then it comes with the extended mag which holds 13 plus 1 so 14 and 12 um, in this tiny little package this gun has been safety checked um, it is clear some of the features it comes with a um, tritium night sight in the front um, it's got that I think that's those are the true glow or yeah I'm pretty sure it's true glow and it's in the bright green it's my favorite one of my favorite colors there so I'll go ahead and take out this chamber flag um, I have not shot it yet um, just have not had a chance to shoot it yet so um, very very nice pistol I like the texturing it feels it's not super rough to uh, or aggressive but once you bite into it I mean it it really I mean it points nice it's got a nice grip angle uh, if would make me what would like make me like this even more is if it had a stain the low the under um, the steel underneath the slide underneath was all stainless. I I really appreciate that about um, Smith and Wesson, but I really appreciate Springfield Armory. Um, two of my competition guns have been Springfield Armory, and two have been Smith West Smith and Wesson. So I, I do absolutely um, love both um, companies. Um, the box isn't very nice, but everybody's kind of come to these nice soft cases, waterproof cases. Um, you know, you can put your information in there, whatever you want. It's kind of got a stiff little deal at the back there. I don't know. The mag won't fit in there. I guess I didn't try too hard, but it's a, it's a nice little, you know, range bag. Comes with a... Uh, your instruction manual guys uh, instruction manual comes with uh, looks like a one two three four five six shot group he's got three in the middle there and three on the outside so 
I don't know if that's how they adjust their sights there at Springfield or what. Comes with a nice little warning card. You guys have all seen this stuff. It comes with the, tells you about your, you know, to register with Springfield Armory for your limited warranty. Um, some people don't do that. I do it. I do it with all my firearms. So if there's ever recall, I can choose whether I want to send it back or not. My uh, XDSs did go back. A nice Springfield Armory sticker, which is going to go up on my new piece of uh, um, wall stuff I'm getting here. Comes with a uh, completely useless trigger lock, in my opinion. And then it comes with your um, ATF Youth Handgun Safety Act notice telling you, you know, the federal firearms laws and all that nifty stuff. So, um, that's that. That's the, the first look at the Hellcat. Um, we'll go ahead and do a trigger pull test because I have that fancy stuff and I like to do it. So, let me go ahead and get this set up in the vise real quick. Uh, and then we will uh, go ahead and test that bad boy out see what it looks like here. Um, I was going to pause it, but I probably won't pause it because... I'm, well, I probably will pause it because I don't know where the gun vice is at. Just moved back into my childhood home, guys. So, um, gonna go ahead and um, get that for you guys. Do the trigger pull test and then uh, get back to you guys here. Got all that. And then we'll go over this uh, Lula mag and uh, see how that how it works to load and unload that. So I'll be right back with you guys, just one second. Okay guys, I'm back here. Weapon's still clear, okay. Weapon's still clear. I'm gonna show you guys here the Lula Mag. Uh, the Universal. This one is for the nine millimeter 45 and then it just it has a all right little hook right here guys it's pretty cool pretty cool way of unloading stuff all right I'm going to clear this off the gun counter here so there's no live ammunition on the gun counter guys because uh you know that's against safe good safety practices okay mag is now empty i was only showing you that uh so the lula mag there holder gun's empty there you go Safety check. Hellcat 9mm, guys. Pretty sweet. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and do a trigger pull test. So, I'm going to lower this bad boy down. Way down here. Just uh, getting it to where I can set it down in here, guys. Just make it a little more consistent here for the trigger pull so uh the reason i emptied the mag is i'm gonna put the magazine in here so i don't uh compress my uh set up here so this thing's pretty cool this little vice is pretty cool i didn't ever do a review on it i'm sure people would tell me it's a piece of crap or whatever so I'm mostly cinching down on the uh, the magazine here guys a little bit down on the body uh, not gonna get too crazy about it though because um, uh, I don't want to damage my firearm you can do that 
squeak down on these too hard and you can mess with your... So what I'm doing is I'm just getting this nice and snug in here so, so we can... Uh, So we can do a good consistent trigger pull test here. I'll go ahead and turn it this way here for you guys. We got it nice and down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you here the Wheeler Engineering trigger pull gauge, guys. It's zeroed out there. I'm gonna go ahead and start with one pull here. And I might have to stage the trigger just a little bit here, guys. So a flat face trigger. Oh, guess what, guys? Six pounds, five point three ounces. Enter. That's pull number one. Okay. And the mag is gonna make this not easy on me. I guess you've seen me struggle there'll be comments on that. I'm going to go ahead and stage it a little bit so I can get this in here without causing too many problems. 6 point 6 ounce 6 pounds 1.8 ounces guys enter. I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. Let's see if I can short stroke it. It still charged it, I'm sure. A little short breeze there. Okay, six pounds, 1.6 ounces again. I'm gonna enter that in, guys. So that's a total. Uh, not, in my opinion, bad for a concealed carry firearm. Six pounds, 2.5 ounces. So a little heavy. Um, it will be getting a trigger job done here when one comes out for it. So, uh, guys, that's the first looks at the Springfield Armory Hellcat. This is Jason with the Forever Free Gunner. I'd like to tell you um, thank you, God bless, and keep the powder dry.